Great morning, great morning, great morning. It is me, your girl, Pam Dorsey. I am the CEO of Pam Dorsey Enterprises. I am your purpose pusher, here to push you into that great big future, that destiny that awaits you. I am your master motivator, your biggest cheerleader, here pushing and telling you, go, 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 you can do it. That's me. I'm your hype girl if you need me to be when you need me to be. I am a life pursuer and so are you. And I am an affirmation specialist here to help you speak your life into existence one affirmation at a time. Great morning. Thank you for joining me. Happy Tuesday. I must say that I have missed you all. Um, I apologize for not doing my live on yesterday. I must say I was a bit emotional. I was, my mood was off. Um, I woke up to news that one of um, the young ladies that I worked with for years um, had passed on. And last week I found out that one of the guy, one of my uh, friend guys that I went to high school with had passed away. So both of those together, it just put me in a place where I was like, Oh my gosh. You know when death is going to happen. It's it's in, inevitable, right? Life is but a, a life is but a vapor. We know that. You know, we all know that just like you have a time to be born, there is a time already set when we will leave this earth. We all know that. And we all deal with death and grief differently. These were not people that I talked to every day. No, but these are people that I knew, loved, and were close to my age. People, I sat beside her for years um, at Verizon. And it, it, was, it, it just took me to a place. And I was like, oh my gosh, I took time for me. Instead of, you know, faking it till I make it it and, and getting on doing a live and, you know, doing all the other, it would not have come from a pure place. It would not have come from an authentic place. So instead of faking it, I just, it's like, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to take today and breathe, woosah, process this, let it happen, you know, let, let me do process it how I need to process it. Let me deal with it how I need to deal with it. And I'm much better today. Um, of course, still thinking about it, still praying about their families because they both had children, um, family members, friends, loved by many. So it is, it's hit hard. It's hit a lot of people hard. Um, but definitely, definitely praying for the families and they will both be greatly missed. Um, all right. So today's, of course, I'm here with today's affirmation. Um, again, it's a great one. Oh, and before I do that, let me say, I did not post the winner for last week's affirmation yet. It's because it was a tie between two of them and I did not write down which two. So what I'm probably going to do is put out a post and do like a tiebreaker or something. I'm not sure. Either I just put out the two that tied. We'll see how that goes. Look for that to come in reference to last week. So let's get to this week, right? On this terrific Tuesday, today's affirmation, I am being processed. I am still in my process. And y'all like my tea? God is dope. God is dope. God is dope. Trust God, trust your process, and trust you most of all, right? Yes, I am being processed. So here's what I want to tell you. I got three points. The process serves a purpose. Doesn't always look good. Y'all heard me say it doesn't always feel good, but it is so necessary. It serves a purpose. Whatever the process is, go through it. Allow it to happen. Allow it to heal you. Allow it to motivate you, inspire you. Allow, allow it to push you into your purpose, into that great bit destiny that awaits you. Greater awaits all of us each of us, there is an expected end, as Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us, an expected end. Greatness, greater awaits. So don't quit during the process. When, it, when whatever it is shows up, deal with it. 
It's something that you have to deal with head on. Don't push it under the carpet. Don't run away. Don't hide. Don't ignore it. Deal with it. It is showing up so you can deal with it, so you can process it, so you can make it work for you, or so you can deal with it and move it out of your way, move it out of your life. Don't let it be a hindrance. Number one, the process serves a purpose. Number two, greater awaits. And number three, the process is needed. The process is what's going to take you into your next, next best place, the next best version of you. So don't quit during the process. It is needed. It is necessary. It pushes you into your purpose. It pushes you into this great big destiny that God has assigned only your name to. Don't quit during the process. It makes me think about when women are in labor, right? The labor pains don't feel good. Not at all, right? But we know that at the end of the pain, at the end of the pain, this great bundle of joy is coming. And here's the thing. Those labor pains are going to continue until the baby is fully developed and ready to appear ready to come into this world. Great morning, Black Barbie. Thank you for tuning in with me. Think about that. The labor pains get more intense the closer you get to pushing out that baby. Your pains get more intense the closer you get to birthing that business, birthing that ministry, birthing whatever it is that God has purposed you to release in this earth. So don't quit during the process. It is needed. It is necessary. It pushes you into your great big destiny that is awaiting you. Don't quit during your process. Allow those labor pains to be your reminder that right after this next big push, that next big great thing that God is about to walk me into is going to manifest. Don't quit during your process. Trust God. Trust you. Trust your process. Today's affirmation, I am being processed. I am right in the middle. And we're, there's, a, there's a song that says, praise him in the middle of it, because in the middle is where you like, I can't go back. I've come too far to go back, right? Right in the middle of that thing is where you like, ah, I can almost see it. I'm almost to the finish line. How dare I go back? Right in the middle is when hell breaks loose, when there's all types of foolishness going on. But that just lets you know, hang in there. You're almost to the finish line. Don't quit during your process. I am being processed. That is today's Girl Affirm Yourself affirmation. I hope, pray, and trust it touched you where it needed to touch you to help you continue in this life's journey. Continue and continue to walk into your next best place, your next, the greater that awaits you. Grab a copy of my Girl Affirm Yourself ebook if you have not already. It is power packed with some powerful daily affirmation, positive affirmations. There's some journaling pages. There's some inspirational quotes all throughout and some extra special, special bonuses that you'll find out about once you grab your copy. And hey, in honor of international, international, what? I'm thinking about International Women's Day. In honor of Women's History Month, it will be 99 cents all month. Yeah, you heard it right. 99 cents will grab, get you your digital download. It is instant. As soon as you make your purchase, it's directly in your inbox. Gift yourself, gift a friend, your girlfriend, your sister friends, your gold diggers, all them. Grab, grab a copy for them too. 99 cents, a still of a deal. You absolutely cannot beat it. Again, today's affirmation, I am being processed. Until next time, y'all, purple kisses.